Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Mercury. Three-cylinder. 1988. VRO. Inline. Two-stroker. Well, I think we got them old carburetors all taken care of. Maybe a little plug fuel lineages. Whatever it was being ailed by has been corrected, I do believe, because she is running pretty good. Now, I have a couple different directions that I can go. Oh! Welcome to all you new subscribers. I forgot to say that. Thanks for stopping in. Um, we've got it running pretty good now. Um, facts check. We went through it, found the issues, got them straightened out. And uh, so the next thing I decided, I figured a bonnet, a hood for this thing with all the broken pieces and brackets and everything I found from it being thrown down in the backyard. That can be overcome. It's just a hood. But it's got the old tilt trim on it. So I wanted to see if that was working. Um, the switch on the controls was all rotten, busted, yuck, so it didn't work. So I thought I would dive a little deeper into uh, the tilt trim unit on this before I started with the hood kind of thing and that. And what I found was kind of interesting and my, my adapt and overcome, shall we say, is going to probably be a little adventure in and of itself. So. Let's go inside this outboard and look at that tilt trim situation and see what we find and see what we're going to do. Let's go! it on that stand so that I could bring leaves in to the shop and moss and whatever else because it's fall. Now uh, with this type of stand I can you know move you know you know move things around up and down so I don't want it on my tank hoist because then this would be on the lift part. But see, I can move it all around, up and down. Remember that? Warning, Will Robinson. Warning, Will Robinson. Actually, it looks more like his nemesis. I forget what his name was. Well, I don't know if he was his nemesis, but the other robot. Anyway, I... Okay. Can you see this right in here? That is just solid stuck in there. That's the guts of the motor. All salt corroded in there. I'll get it out. It'll be a piece at a time. <laughs> and then I don't know if anything else is going to be good on it. But uh, 
Yeah, she is. Just one solid piece right in there. See that? The guts of the motor are down in here. Good oh boy. Boy. I'll be back. Well, here's a different angle. I got the motor off. Sorry if I'm shaky. See that? See how yummy? Here. Yummy. Oh boy. Yeehaw. Toast. Now I put Thor on them bolts and I took that uh, tilt trim unit assembly out of there. And uh, whether I can get that uh, motor head out of there, I'm not sure. And then uh, even if I did, I don't think I have a motor that fits that one. So, but that's the one I got out of there. I could even run the, the wires out the old fill hole on the other one. The motor's on the opposite side. The tank's on the opposite side. But uh, this one does work. I tested it with my power pack. It works. And it almost lines up with about two of the holes in there. Um... But this one, for the bottom, only has the one, it has one big hole. Well, there's a place I could put it right there or there, either one of those two. Um, I could probably even get it right in there. But I like the way, I mean, it fits in there pretty decent. I think this one, I think, because I don't know. I don't have it marked. I'm going by memory here. But I could have swore this came off of an E-Tech. An Evinrude E-Tech. Don't know. Can we make it work? Don't know. But it fits up in there nice. And I took my air gun, my air hammer, to get that pin out. And I pushed it from this way. So where do you think it is now? Bloop. Bloop. I like saying bloop. It's in the tank. And it's stainless. I'll have to roll up the sleeves. Hey, But, yeah, I'm just messing around thinking, what if? It don't hurt to try. So let's try. Okay, so... Here is the motor I took off, what's left of it. It was, uh, if you look down in here on the side, the far away wall, you can see how deep the salt was in there. And I scraped and blew it all out, and that's how it had to come off. And that was off of this unit right here. That's where the motor went. This whole thing was like a half inch deep of salt and corrosion and so I took it off the whole unit and look in there now okay so there's the unit I took off and there's the unit I have not put on I've just got it loosely and when I say loosely, I mean I just, this is just test stuff. And like I said, this lower, or excuse me, this tilt mechanism, tilt assembly, is off an E-Tech. Um, it was an E-Tech that went down to Davy Jones. And when a guy, there's a video of me unloading it and several others that uh, a guy brought me, a bunch of big ones on a trailer. You may have seen that video. And so, 
I didn't, you know, I don't, I still don't know if this is going to work. Um, people like doofus, that's a mercury. You can't be put in tech or e tech. <laughs> you can tell I work on lawnmowers, huh? Um, you can't be put no e tech deal in a mercury. Well, the way I view it, they're they're both hydraulic rams. <laughs> if you look, I just got this bottom. Nothing's bolted in here. This whole thing's flop slop loose. Here's what I got for the bottom. I just put an old skinny long bolt, just something. There's no shims in here. There's a good inch of wobble. Um, well, you can see. This will be made to be much better. I've got some plans. Okay. Oh, how did I have that in there? Well, let's move you. What did I do? Oh, okay. Maybe. Oh, maybe. Well, let's try going in the other way. I know it came out that way. Here. Where you at? Where you is? Oh, maybe I need to go down. Yeah, that's what it is. Get in there. I'm trying to take my glove with me. So I just threw this old bolt just in there like that. Same up here. I just got an old bolt. I did shim this one a little better, but it's just a bolt. And you can see there's a lot of space in here and there. Um, I'm going to try and I'll move you for a minute. You can see I just got a bolt in here. But I did put a piece of pipe in there to make things fit a little better there. So it's just a bolt run through there and that little skinny bolt through there. This will all be shimmed and better and better. And... Okay. So. Now I've got my battery pack and my wires. You can see it's in the down position. Downtrodden. So, let's hook up some power. Some power. So let's see if we get some. There she is. The main ram. Switchy roo around my switch. See, I'm pretending to be a switch. What do you think? Think we can make it work? It actually fits in there pretty good. I might... I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm thinking... Grind that out a little bit there where them wires go through. Or I could bring the wires all the way around behind and out this hole over here. I don't know. But I'm going to push it back out a little bit because I, I don't want it pinching them wires. And I'm not sure if it is or not. See my wires here? I can cut that out of there and make that bigger. I can make it bigger. Um, wow. It might just work. So here's the skinny on this thing. We got it firing on all cylinders. Good spark. Good compression. And she seems to run and idle pretty darn well. The tilt motor and all that was roached. This is one of these. I think they call them Roto Zip. Yeah, Roto Zip with the roto zip kind of drill bit in there um, and I'm going to enlarge this hole you can see where I'm starting to cut it 
because I want to put a bigger bolt for that bottom pivot. So that's what we're doing here. Pushed too hard and broke that bit, but you can see it's working. There you go. So I just got a little bit more to go, and then I'll clean it up with a regular drill bit. Okay, I got my little bushings right in there. Same with you did over here. Back you out just a bit. I like that. There it is. Got the bushing. Bushings in place. Okay, that's a number 20 half inch fine thread. That's what I'm tapping that with. Because I want it to be threaded.
now both the aluminum piece and that, uh, the bracket itself on the engine is threaded. Okay, now I'm freehanding this camera here. It's not on a tripod, so if there's a little shaking, bear with me. Alright, I took Diablo and I cut this bolt off flush. Then I made OMC Special Bolt 1682232. In other words, I made the bolt head real thin on here and I went in that way. So that, and you can see I got my hole all nice and opened up for the size of the bolt I'm going to use to go across and actually support the tilt unit at the bottom. Now look how much meat I got there. Plus I'm bolted here and these are threaded. This thick piece of aluminum is threaded and this part is threaded. So it threads all the way through that. On the back side of this I'll put a nylock. This one is threaded so is the this part that's all threaded and then you can see my bolt hopefully like I said I'm freehanding this there's my bolt sticking through I'll put a nylock maybe even a lock washer too and then there's the big old half inch bolt I used so now I've got a lot of meat to see in the beginning look at that I didn't have much meat on that just that plain aluminum bracket it's real thin there right here but now She's beefy, meaty, bolted, bolted, threaded, threaded. It ought to work good. And I've got nylon bushings made for this. Okay. I put some nylon bushings right here, these black nylon bushings. Then I took a piece of aluminum pipe. And yes, it is pipe. See, it's threaded. But it's aluminum. All right. And there's the bolt. See how beefy that is compared to that other one? Now, I'm going to take this, fits in that bushing real nice and snug, and the bushing on each side. And if you look, my bolt fits nice in that pipe, so everything's snug and tight. And then that will all go through the aluminum pieces. i got to put my bushing in there yet, my little blue bushings, and get it all... We're getting close. I still got to build this other aluminum bracket for here so it can take the, the weight. But we're getting there. May not even work, but we're getting there one way or another. All right, that's, that's kind of what I'm going for as an end product, minus a couple of bushings and maybe washers. Um, you can see, yeah, I got it. I gotta cut that piece yet. Right there. That piece. But you can see this fits in there pretty good. I might want to put a washer or two there. And I got my Sharpie and I'm drawing my lines so I know where to cut. Then it's a matter of cutting it with the jigsaw, tapping those bolt holes and putting the big bolt all the way through and the bushings in and then I'll deal with the top which I think will be a lot lot better and more simple for sure okay 
Well, that's kind of the uh, finished bottom part. Um, I got nice thick aluminum in there and uh, a nice big, I think it's like three, three quarter inch bolt going through everything for it to pivot on on the bottom. I've got, I threaded both the, the actual side of the uh, transom bracket itself, those are threaded as is the nice thick aluminum that I have. That's threaded through everything. I'm still got I'm still gonna put one more bolt right here. I don't think I would need to but I'm I'm gonna anyway. Um, but the top I haven't done yet but it, it's gonna it looks like it's gonna be a lot easier. So let's see what we get. We got my little power pack here. And so we'll clip in a wire. Then we'll get the green wire. Let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. On the E-Tech. Now that's the two lower rams pushing right now. The little ram. There we go, the big ones. Okay. Squitch them around. I ain't decided what I'm gonna do with the switch yet if I get that far. Let's go down. Kaboom. Kaboom, kaboom. What do you think? Think it's gonna work? We look like we got the bottom of it somewhat buttoned up. Um, so we got to do the top and the unloaded test seems to work okay. The top's going to be a lot easier um, because I have the original pin which happens to be three quarters of an inch stainless but I don't see why I couldn't use and cut to fit a shouldered three-quarter inch stainless steel bolt with a nylock. Um, or I can use the original pin. Um, by using the original pin, I will have to drill a hole in that the part of the actual ram that it goes through because the other ram had a hole tapped in there for a lock um, Allen head lock screw like you would find on a love joint coupling. By using a nut and a bolt, I don't have to drill that hole in that stainless. Stainless is hard. So, but uh, everything I'm using on here is either nylon, stainless, or aluminum. So, but uh, still got a long way to go. Got to get this top done, but if you can see, I don't know if you can see over my shoulder or not, it's dark, it's late, and I'm getting a little hungry. So I'm going to skinny on up and get me a big glass of sweet iced tea and some grub. You understand? So, that looks like it's going to be a wrap on this part of it. Stay tuned for the rest, and once I get the top done, we'll button it all up and see if this thing will actually work. And uh, so, thanks for watching. That is one more hack from Kodiak. More vids are coming on in.